If you're trying to launch a new product, rank for your main keywords, make as many sales as possible, it's crucial that you have a really good product listing. In today's video, I'm gonna break down some really powerful tips for how to write a really compelling listing, have the best photos possible, well, how do you find your keywords and put the right keywords in your listing? Also, you can rank to page one and launch successfully and make sales right out of the gate. Welcome to the channel. If you're new, welcome back. Those of you who are my subscribers. My name is Ryan Newton. I'm a full-time Amazon FBA seller, mentor, and coach. Right here on this YouTube channel, I release weekly videos covering everything Amazon, e-commerce, and NFTs and self-development. If you enjoy those types of videos, do me a favor right now, head on down and press subscribe. I can see each and every one of you who take just a minute to press that subscribe button and I appreciate each of you. Also give me a like on this video, it helps support my channel and bring you more helpful videos like this one. My job right here on this channel is to help educate, teach, impact as many lives as possible, sharing and documenting my journey of how I went from a struggling and broke drug addict nine and a half years ago to building, owning, and running multiple six-figure online businesses. Let's jump into it. All right, guys, let's jump right into the video going over how to create the best possible product listing that you can. So a couple things. Uh, let's just go over first. What is the product listing? When should you create it? And what makes up all the different parts of your listing? First, let's go over that first one. When is the best time to actually create your listing or enter it into the Amazon system? The best time to create your listing, guys, is about halfway through production or towards the end of production. So if you place your deposit to your supplier and it's 30 days to make your product, you want to wait about 15 days, like halfway through production or towards the end of production, and then create your listing uh, get the F and SKU barcode, do the shipping plan or the shipment, uh, and send your supplier the FBA labels for the cartons, boxes. Uh, that way there's only around 30 days or less for that C shipping time. You just don't want your listing sitting there for two, three, four months as inactive because Amazon does start to collect data on your listing as soon as you create it. So try to wait as long as possible when to, when you, when it's time to create your listing. I recommend towards the end of production is fine, halfway through production, and then it's only about you know 20 to 35 days for fast sea shipping uh, to, for your products to come from China to the Amazon warehouse. So wait you know, towards the end of production to create your listing. That way there's the least amount of days in between when you create your listing and when the products get to Amazon and you launch. That's because we want the strongest honeymoon period possible. The honeymoon period is the first two to three weeks after you first launch the product. Uh, during this time, Amazon gives you a boost into the market and will help you push your product closer to page one, get more eyeballs and customers to see your listing. Uh, that's the honeymoon period. The first two to three weeks after you launch, when does it exactly start? As soon as your products arrive at Amazon, you have at least one unit checked in and made available and your listing status goes active. One unit available, listing status goes active, your honeymoon period has started. All right, so a product listing comprises of these things, guys. So on the front end, or what the customer sees, is gonna be your images or video, but you'll have access to images if this is your first product. You won't have access to video or A+, without brand registry. So you're gonna be able to upload seven to nine product images. Uh, we'll go over images here in a minute, but main image, super important, infographic images, lifestyle images like this one. You'll be able to upload seven to nine images depending on your product category. We need a really good title, guys. The title's very, very, very important for ranking for your main keywords and for getting customers to click on your listing. Around 150, 200 characters or less. Title should contain you know, some of your top keywords, but also sound convincing to get customers to actually wanna click on it. So images, title, then we have these special features. These are important, not only for like selling features, but also if you can put a couple keywords in here, that's very good. Uh, that will help you index and rank for those fast. Then we have your five to seven bullet points. Okay, you can enter, you know, two to three pair, uh, two to three sentences long for each bullet point. You know, each, you know, the selling features, why the customer should buy yours, what makes yours different, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, and then we have your product description, which is down here. Now, in this case, this seller has A plus content or sponsored uh, enhanced brand content, uh, A plus content down here, you know, five basic modules you'll be able to upload with brand registry. Without brand registry, you'll just be able to do a text, you know, two to four paragraph text description. And then on the back end of the listing, guys, there's a couple areas that are super important. That's gonna be search terms and subject matter or generic keywords. Your generic keywords are where you're gonna enter some of your main keywords on the back end uh, to help rank and index for those keywords as well. So I went over when should you create the listing towards the end of production or like at the very end, like as least amount of days before your product arrives to Amazon as possible and you are gonna launch. And then uh, to create your listing, what do you need to actually create the listing? 
You're gonna need a couple things in order to create your listing. Number one is brand approval. If you've never created a listing before inside your seller account with your brand name, let's say your brand name is this one, Grand Sinal, Grand Sinal. If you've never created a listing with that brand name, you're gonna need brand approval first. So brand approval is different from brand registry. This is essentially where you'll need one sample from your supplier. You'll need to take pictures of your sample with the logo on it and then submit it to Amazon for brand approval so they unlock your account so you're able to create listings using that brand name. So that's brand approval. You get that by submitting pictures of your product with logo on it, your sample with logo on it to Amazon so they unlock your account so you can actually go ahead and enter your brand name on the listing. You do not want to do generic. You, you don't want to say I don't have a brand name. You don't want to do that. It can't be changed later and it makes it easier for hijackers if it's generic. So you need to get your brand name on the listing and you need brand approval to do that. And then the other thing, guys, is the GTI and exemption. If you don't already have uh, GS1 UPC barcodes, you will need to uh, either buy GS1 barcodes UPC from GS1.org or you can apply for what's called a GTIN exemption so you don't have to buy barcodes. And you just do that by submitting pictures of your product with logo and you get approval for your category. Uh, and I do have a doc here. If you guys need that, you can just leave me a comment down below in the video. Uh, let me just pull that up. GTIN exemption and brand approval. This doc will walk you through three steps how to apply for GTIN exemption and brand approval. But you'll just need these two things, guys. Uh, and one more thing. But these two things, brand approval, GTIN exemption, before you create your listing inside your seller account. And then the other thing you're going to need is I recommend you write a finalized title. You're going to want to write a pretty much finalized title, guys, when you go to create your draft listing or your inactive listing because it is kind of hard to change later on. Uh, and so just those three things in order to create the listing. Brand approval, GTIN exemption, or a UPC barcode or GTIN barcode from GS1, uh, and um, a title. All right, now that we went over when you create the listing, uh, what you need in order to create your listing, let's go over optimizing the listing. And when it comes time to optimize your listing, that really comes down to keywords, uh, keywords and just making it you know stand out in the marketplace. So let's go over the first one, which is keywords. How would you find the main keywords for your product and where do you put them in your listing? All right, let's break that down. Before I break down you know, keywords, how to find the right keywords and where to put them in your listing, if you guys need help with this stuff, if you're looking for a mentorship, you're looking for someone to help you launch your Amazon product or brand, uh, either you know teach you how to do it and then you do it on your own or a fully done for you service, I do have that available. You can check down below Noonan University. On my website, Noonan University, will have mentorship options, my six-week program, my eight-week program, and my done for you option. So make sure to check out those down below or just leave a comment in the video uh, on the video here and I'll make sure to reply to you. Okay, let's go over keywords. So in order to find keywords, guys, pretty easy. You just can click on keywords here and this is gonna bring up right there that was on the Helium 10 X-Ray. So you'll need Helium 10 uh, X-Ray Chrome extension downloaded. And I have the, I just have the platinum plan. That's really all you need. It's 87.50 a month with code Noonan 10 as a 10% off every single month. It comes out to $87. If you've never had Helium 10 before, Noonan 50, will get you 50% off for like 50 bucks for month one. So what I just did here, guys, was I just picked up one of my competitors. Let's say this is one of my main competitors. I clicked on their listing and I clicked on keywords. And then this is going to pull up Cerebro. Cerebro is the reverse ASIN lookup that is going to get me all my keywords that I need to use in my listing. Click on get competitors. We do want to choose, you know, around five to 10 ASINs here. So let's just choose a few others that are similar. This is a clear splatter guard microwave cover and then we'll press ok add competitors so i have you know five to ten asins here and then click on get keywords all right and you run new search and this is how we're finding the main keywords that you need to include in your listing so i put like five to ten of the main competitors asins in cerebro you could also just go to page one here for your main keyword microwave splatter cover and then you could click on um, X-ray keywords and that will actually run it too uh, on page one or you can just enter the individual ASINs here and then click on get keywords guys. And then I'm gonna tell you the filters to put in. So you wanna focus on keywords that have between 400 and 40,000 search volume in the beginning or you can even go lower than that if it's too many keywords, you could go 400 to 24,000, something like that. Position rank, well one through 20 or one through 30 is page one. So let's get keywords from page one and two. That's one through like 60 or one through 75, okay? Match type, we do only wanna look at organic keywords. 
and um, let's click on apply there just with those three filters and see how many keywords we're left with. Okay, we're still left with 297 keywords. That's a little too much. So let's bring this down to uh, 25,000 for our max search volume and see how many we're left with there. Okay, we're still left with 294 keywords. That's going to be quite a bit. Uh, so we're going to bring this down to 60, just page one and two. Let's see if that drops it down. Still at 243. So what do you do if you still have 243? And what am I trying to get down to? Uh, like 50 or less. I'm trying to get to like the top 50 keywords here by these filters. So in this case, what you'll need to do is actually enter the main uh, seed or root keyword. The seed or root keyword is microwave cover. Uh, that's going to be kind of the seed or root keyword. So then go up here to uh, phrases contain, not exclude, but we want phrases containing. Paste it there. It's a microwave cover. Apply. Or you could just do cover. And now I'm down to the top 15 keywords. Okay, guys. So let's go down here. Let's click on search volume to sort this list high to low by search volume. And then we can expand the keyword phrase column over so we can actually see it. And here is the main keywords you would want to use first inside your listing and in your PPC campaigns. Let's bring this over. So uh, this one's good. Microwave cover, magnetic glass microwave cover if yours was glass you could do that if it's not it could go on the back end of your listing microwave cover for food yes that's a very relevant keyword microwave cover for food bpa free if yours was bpa free absolutely uh, i would probably leave out bpa free in your listing just so it doesn't get flagged as like a fda pesticide toxic item just do microwave cover for food instead leave out the bpa free in the beginning Glass microwave cover. If, again, if yours was glass, put it on the front end of your listing in title bullet points and photos. If it's not, put it on the back end of your listing. Collapsible microwave cover. This would probably go in PPC as broad and phrase in there. If yours was collapsible, you could put it in your listing. Microwave cover 12 inch. If yours was 12 inch, you could put that in your bullet points, maybe in your title, in your images. Uh, splatter guard microwave cover. Relevant, good. Small microwave cover, maybe. Microwave cover, BPA free, yes. M uh, magnet microwave cover for food, if yours had a magnet, absolutely. But why are these the main keywords? Uh, because they contain the seed or root keyword, microwave cover, that's kind of the main thing here. Uh, so these are the keywords you would want to use first inside your listing. Now I've got about nine. I need about, you know, 10 to 20 more. So I'd probably have to go up here and like remove the, the filter microwave and just do cover and see what I'm left with. Because I want to get around 20, 15, yeah, here's 47. That's a lot better. So these would be kind of the main keywords you'd want to use. Microwave plate cover, microwave food cover, microwave cover magnetic, plate cover. Okay, so how do you pick your title keywords? Okay, highest IQ score, the higher the better. Search volume, the higher the better. Search trend, higher the better. Competing products, the lower the better. CPR, the lower the better. Title density, the lower the better. So here, guys, in this case, you have microwave plate cover. It's got 6,600 search volume. It's got 1,000 competing products. It's got 13 title density. What does that mean? That means 13 other sellers or competitors are using this keyword in their title versus this one, microwave cover magnetic, still has good searches, 3,000 a month. There's only one seller, title density one. There's only one other seller using that keyword in their title. So you would want to use this, this keyword in your title uh, instead versus that first one to be e to rank for it easier. So the lower the better for title density, same thing with this one, only three. That's going to be a lot easier to rank for versus this one, plate cover with 18 sellers using it in their title. That's going to be just for your title keywords or the top two to four keywords that go here. So this seller has done a good job. Microwave cover for food, clear microwave splatter cover with handle, uh, 10 inch plate covers, Okay, they've got a bunch of keywords right there. Really good left to right in relevancy. They're good. Uh, I really like the keywords that they've used there. Those are really good keywords. And then I also like the second half of their title because they've put some main selling features in here. Kitchen gadgets and accessories. That's kind of broad, but it's good. I think it resonates with customers. House essentials for new home gifts. You know, all that's good. So I like that. Um, they've got the number one new release badge. They've got 230 reviews. And this product is actually doing $40,000 a month. Uh, at $22.99 with only 200 reviews, 230 reviews. So that's why I use this one as an example. For images, guys, uh, and then for let's just finish up on keywords. So basically, you go down the list here, guys. Pick the top 15 to 30. Put the top two to four here in your title, left to right. Uh, the next kind of one to three go here in your special features. The next five to 10 go out through here throughout your listing. 
Now to write your listing, I recommend using Listing Builder. Listing Builder is very helpful. That's gonna be under Tools. That's gonna to be under Listing Builder. Basically, you can just put your ASIN in there, uh, select your category, connect your Amazon seller account if you haven't already, and then download this Cerebro list, like this list of keywords. You would download this to a CSV file and then copy all these keywords and put them into Listing Builder into your keyword bank. And then that's gonna actually help you write your title, your bullet points, your description, your search terms, and your special features. It'll help you write all that out and make sure that you're using you know, these keywords uh, over and over throughout your listing. But again, the top two to four go in title. The next uh, couple keywords in your special features here, if possible. Your next five to 10 in your bullet points. And then the, the next kind of 10 to 20 will actually go on the back end of your listing in generic keywords. And then the rest of your keywords, guys, can go down here in your product description and A plus content, okay? So that's gonna go over finding your main keywords, where to put them in your listing, uh, and then all of them would be run in PPC when it's time for launch. You'd set up multiple broad campaigns, multiple phrase campaigns. They're going in your autos, hopefully making sales off of. So they're all gonna be tested in PPC, and then you have them in your listing strategically in those spots. All right, and then let's just go over kind of photos here. And I do have this, this doc here, finding your best keywords. I will try to link it in the video description below. If I don't, just leave a comment that you like the finding best keywords doc so I can send you the link to this. It'll go over the steps there of what I entered in Cerebro, those filters. And then let's go over product photos. Photos, guys, you've probably heard incredibly, incredibly important. Uh, your listing photos here are so important, especially your main image, guys. Your main image should really, really be good. I like this main image. It's got a hand model. You're not supposed to have a hand in there. They're probably getting away with it because they've been selling for a while. You may not be able to get away with it in the beginning, but later on, a few weeks after you launch, you probably could switch it to this. But I like that they show a microwave here that's actually not supposed to be there either. It's supposed to just be this product here. I like the water is pouring in there. They show you can kind of steam things. But this is a really high quality main image. It's zoomed in. It's showing multiple kind of uh, features of the product. Microwavable. It has a handle. You can add water to it. All of that's great. This is an infographic image. Food grade material. Freezer safe. Microwave safe. High temperature. Uh, compatible okay it prevents messes this is a really good image that's an infographic image here's another infographic image here's another infographic image uh, another infographic image I'd probably remove this one these dimensions really not important you already said 10 inch in the title so you don't need to do all that dimensions and then here lifestyle image this one's really good showing it uh, two of them covering the plates I would probably add one more lifestyle image here uh, like like just showing like how hot it gets or how long like it, it heats up faster or like uh, us versus theirs like a competitor us versus theirs why ours is mine is better that's gonna be image guys if you need product photos done I've got Amazon product photography uh, photographer re uh, recommendations so coconut product photography Bonnie MB global solutions uh, these are kind of Kinji RY these are kind of my top three photography companies they do really good high quality photos and then to like design the photos and make them all coherent and really, really nice. I use uh, Pixie, uh, Pixie Pot, Pixie Pot Studios for listing image designs because the thing is, is a lot of uh, photographers do a really good job at doing high quality images, but the photo editing isn't the best. So I would pay like Bonnie to do all my images and she does good images, uh, infographic images. I just like to like go one step above. So I'll hire Pixie Pot to do all my uh, infographic images, my lifestyle images, and make them look really, really good. And it's really cheap. It's only about 80 to 100 bucks to have Pixie Pot design your listing images. But then you do need to hire a photographer to do the high quality photos unless you've got a nice camera or wanna you know, try it on your own. Okay guys, that's gonna really kind of go over, you know, like when you create your listing, what you need in order to create your listing, how to optimize, find the best keywords and optimize your listing, and then the importance of, uh, you know, your photos. Have, have the photographer take some extra photos in addition to these seven to nine. Have them take some extra photos so eventually you'll have them for these ones down here, these A plus content images. It is okay to reuse a couple, but if you have some extra images, that's nice as well for your A plus content which again, you can get brand registry and get access to add this video on your listing and this A plus content. As soon as you pay to file your trademark, I recommend trademarkia.com to file your trademark. It's about seven to $900 and they will take care of filing your trademark. And then within one to two weeks after filing, you can get the trademark serial number that's pending and then apply for brand registry. 
All right, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video, optimizing and having a really good listing. One final thing, we have the holidays coming up in Q4. Do try to update, have one or two of your images, holiday themed, Christmas tree in the background, lights, ornaments, garland, something. Show the product being given as a gift with a nice gift box and red bow around it, person smiling. That's going to be really helpful for Q4. And uh, an A-plus content module or one of these images, kind of holiday themed or gift giving theme. That will help you convert better during Q4 as well. If you have any questions or need help, feel free to reach out to me or leave a comment down below, and I'll see you on my next video.